billion dollar dream come true. Donald J. Trump's Taj Mahal, the eighth wonder of the world. I was just a small business owner, trying to make a living, selling my pianos, taking care of my customers. I feel as if somebody stole $30,000 from me. When somebody likes the Taj Mahal, is gonna order pianos, they check with the most respectable dealers. I expected the bill paid in 30 days. When the 31st day went by, I gave them a call, and it got sort of a runaround. And then I waited another 10 or 15 days, and I called again, and I still got no answer at all. I kept calling and telling them about the necessity for getting paid for these. I either got, you know, we'll call you back, or we'll have to talk to somebody else, or, you know, we'll do the best we can. Then about two months later, I got the letter in the mail. They didn't have enough money to pay everybody. The Taj Mahal didn't have the money to pay their bills. And the letter said, you're going to accept 70% on the dollar, or you can wait till the Taj Mahal makes enough money to pay the bill in full, which might take a long time. There was no question in my mind that it was a bullying deal. I had to accept the 70%. I can't sue them for $30,000 because it would cost more than that in legal fees. When you buy pianos from a manufacturer, they expect you to be paid for the pianos. I was short $30,000, and if you're short that amount of money, it's got to come out from what you spend on family expenses. Bills you should pay. I had five children at the time. It's just a lot of stress. If you're running your own business, you have to be successful or you're in real trouble. Trump Entertainment Resorts, which went bankrupt, lenders lost over a billion dollars and more than 1,100 people were laid off. First of all, these lenders aren't babies. These are total killers. These are not the nice, sweet little people that you think, okay? People that got hurt in Atlantic City are honest, hardworking people, just like me. I'm certainly not a killer. The lenders definitely lost money, but small-time investors through retirement funds also suffered. So did small business owners who sold the Trump Organization paint, equipment, food. If you want to get a sense of what is Donald Trump like as a person, how does he run things, you can look at Atlantic City as a good set of examples and potentially cautionary tales. They figured out a way to pay less for what they owed, and I don't think that's fair. Somebody cheats you out of $30,000 legally, that's still stealing. He's built his empire on other people's backs. He's made the deals to his own benefit and stuck people along the road. I have used the chapter laws of this country to do a great job for my company, for myself. I think if Donald Trump becomes president, it's going to be every man for himself. He has no plans for doing anything that's constructive for anybody except himself. We're going to suffer. That's what I said. The little man's going to suffer, and the whole country can suffer.